Hi guys, welcome back to another Scout the Defender YouTube video and I appreciate it's been a little while since I posted a video up on this channel and for that I'm really sorry. I was really enjoying making the content but work and other commitments have got in the way which has meant that I can't film these videos as frequently for you but hopefully we're going to be back with some more videos kind of in the next kind of month or so. Make sure I'm filming loads of content so you guys can uh, enjoy because I love the, reading all the comments, leaving the feedback. Uh, it's, it's really great to kind of engage with you guys so hopefully there's some more videos to come. In today's video, we're going to be fitting this, the ORE rear window cargo guard. Now, the great benefits of this is not only does it provide an extra layer of security, because it stops people if they want to punch that window through, uh, kind of getting access to the rear of the car, but it's also a great device for um, kind of additional storage in the back of Scout. So I can use Molly cargo panels, uh, quick fists, those kind of things to store all kinds of bunch of things onto the back door and make the kind of cabin even more usable than it already is. As you know, kind of everything we've done is trying to be about maximizing the space, whether that's fitting the drawers or additional cargo kind of uh, storage components. So this is the next step in that. So today I'll walk you through how easy it is uh, to fit and then we'll show you kind of how we intend to use it at the end of the video. So let's get into it. Right guys, so in the kit you'll get obviously the guard itself and then this pack of fixings. And the fixings themselves consist of the screw head screws, these are four mil, and then these little cuffs that go in place which really kind of fill the hole that they've, uh, they've machined in to allow you to kind of have the freedom to slide the guard where you won't want to help position it. So those, those screws just go inside the cuff and then we'll screw into the door frame itself. Really easy, a nice little bag of fixings ready to fit the cargo guard. First thing to do is just to line it up and get a sense of where exactly it's going to fit on the rear door. So obviously it has this cut out for the rear uh, brake light. So I'm going to just position that in place and get a sense of exactly where it's going to sit. So I don't want it to rest bang on the, um, the trim door. I'm going to raise it up slightly and ensure that it's centered within uh, the kind of the aperture of the rounded corners. So I think if I kind of move it slightly up kind of about there will be the position that I want. And what I'm gonna do is just mark that really quick. Right, so I've got just a little um, little drill bit here, probably not the perfect tool, but I'm gonna just go in, put it in position and mark that center dot, because that's where everything else is gonna be aligned from. So I think about there we've scribed a little hole. Uh, that's where we're gonna kind of line everything else up from. Right now, off camera, I've just measured the size of the screw and worked out exactly what size pilot hole I need for that particular screw. So in the kit, you get a bag of these black, these black screws and also these kind of cuffs that the, the uh, screw docks into. Now the screw's four millimeters, uh, so I've roughly calculated that about a two and a half mil uh, pilot hole will be perfect to allow it to get enough grip uh, to thread uh, the hole. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I've already marked or done the pilot hole as a test. So I'm now going to put the cargo uh, guard up into place, screw that first top hole in and then I've got a template for the rest of the pilot holes and then the additional uh, screws to go in. We'll get that in position <coughs> and then I'll get one of the screws with the cuff in it, kind of pull it up into place sure it's probably easy with two people, it's just easy with one. Lightly screw the screw in to that pilot hole. And then we're not gonna do it all the way up, but just enough to kind of, to grip it, to allow us to put in the additional pilot holes. Like so. So now we'll go around and drill the additional pilot holes. Okay, so with the cargo guard now in place, I can see all the other reference holes that I'm going to use as the guides to drill the uh, additional pilot holes into the frame. Okay, so we've got all of our pilot holes now drilled and it's just a case of going around star headed uh, drill bit and the uh, screws and the cuffs themselves and then just dropping them through those pilot holes. Really easy, really quick and really easy to install.
So there we have it, that's the cargo guard all fitted up, really easy, just a few pilot holes and a few um, self-tapping screws and it's in, it's really solid, in place, it's not going to bounce around, it's not going to move and you can really secure things to the back window and make use of all the storage in the back. Okay guys, so a bit of a costume change. Um, I've, it's been a few days since I filmed the install video of the cargo guard. I was waiting for some of the accessories to arrive to be able to show you just what you can kind of install onto the cargo guard. So you can see here, uh, I've used the molly system to attach a few bags. So these just clip through the molly system uh, and then you can obviously use them for storage, throw anything you want into the back, really useful. This one um, is quite cool because it's got kind of, it's kind of a longer pouch. So in here I've got uh, a fire extinguisher just for any, uh, any on-road emergencies, so that just slots in there really nicely. And then the other really nice thing about the um, cargo guard is that I've also got these quick fists installed. So these are really neat. These um, open up really quickly and you can slot something into the quick fists and slot them back up. And they just, again, bolt through the slots in the molly system. So here I'm probably gonna mount um, a large torch, maybe any other tools or accessories that I want to be able to get to really quickly whilst we're out camping. So it's a really versatile system whilst also, I guess, providing a layer of security so no one can smash through that back window. Real great piece of kit and um, really, really easy to install. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, please give it a like if you're enjoying it and also subscribe for plenty more kind of modification videos and road trips. Um, also, I'll leave a link to the product in the description box below. So go and check out the ORE Cargo Guard and any of those other products. And I believe you can also get a discount if you use Scout 5 at checkout. If you've enjoyed this video, please drop it a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I love making these videos uh, and I'll see you in the next one.